lastly, I'll give Orange a penalty. You're always stink, and I hate you. That's no fair, dude. The host. You're not supposed to be fluffing bias, bro. Shut up. Anyways, yeah. So, Orange, you gotta do all my chores, or I'll squish you like the ant you are. Uh, bye, Beach Toys. Ooh, he called your beach toys. He called you that too. Humph. <sighs> hey, SB. Hmm? Ready for the plan? The. Oh, Haru's. Yeah. So ready for revenge. Alright. Let's go. Firehead! Hi, Mom. Aren't you excited? Not really. Oh. For what? What's there not to be happy about? Mom, are you okay? I'm not your mom, but yeah, I'm wonderful. <laughs> you gonna sing me a lullaby? <gasps> oh, of course! Hush, my sweet child mine, you shall be happy. My mother sang to me this song of wonderfulness to me when I was young and innocent. And I will sing this song to you, even if you are different than these song entails. My sweet child mine, you shall be happy. My mother sang to me this song of warning to me when I was young and innocent. But that was not long ago, especially for you who has a life in many ways. You may not sit still. You may not eat much, but you are perfect, my sweet. Hush, my sweet child mine, you shall be happy. My mother sang to me this song of family to me when I was young and innocent. Which is you right now, so please live and don't leave me alone And you have many weaknesses, but so many strengths And you may need my care And you may be too trusty But you are perfect My baby bear Go sing your heart out. That was wonderful, Mom. 
thanks! There was another verse about someone named William. I don't remember that verse too well, so yeah. Mom, you're acting nicer than usual. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for taking me here, and starting to speak English. No problem, sweetie. If you wish to drink from the Fountain of Memories to remove your psychotic block, don't you? I, uh, I just want to know what's going on here. And I don't want Brush to hurt me. Oh, I hate who he became. He was such a bright sun. Sun or sun? Never mind that. I have someone I'd like you to meet. Will Carol and everyone be okay? Of course. His little anomaly is watching over them. Follow the trail into the woods and feel yourself recount the past one step at a time. Um, Doc... Can I take the screening again? No, Andrew. This is your official diagnosis. B but... It's official, Andrew. No complaining. Doc, please. I'm prescribing you medication. Have you ever heard of... Uh, I'm so sorry, I forgot the name, but... Please hang on with me a second. No, absolutely no. Oh, well, I, I'm prescribing medication. Have you heard of the one that we typically use for what your diagnosis is? No. Oh, well, they are used to help people with your diagnosis, psychosis, and they are typically used and- No, I, I mean, I, I, I can't take that medicine. It's- it, I'm not crazy, absolutely no way. Andrew, that's just a common misconception. You're not crazy. Now, I'd like to meet you again next week. This- this cannot be happening to me. Yes, it can, Andrew. You're a liar. I'm leaving. Andrew, I understand you love your boyfriend, friends, and job. But I want you to go to a hospital for a few days to improve your health. Because, well, you could be a danger to yourself. But, but, but. No buts, Andrew. Andrew, you even wear your bow tie to hide the cuts I've seen on your neck. Andrew, please. The visions you see are confusing you and making you hurt yourself on accident. On pure accident, Andrew. I am not going there for more than a week. So you'll go? Yeah. Fine. Today? No! Let's make it arrange then. How does a week from today sound? November 22nd to the 25th? Fine. Fine. Just leave me alone and let me go to work. Fine. Fine. I'll see you soon, Andrew. See you soon, Dr. Anderson. Ugh. Uh, wow, that was, uh, refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Take a look in the mirror at the end of the path. Tell me who you see. My friend will come shortly.
Uh, what? Uh, sir, I want Andrew back. I went to hurt him for hurting me, but... Uh, uh, sir, are you listening? Uh, why won't he talk yet? I don't know. Maybe it's because you couldn't return his soul from the memory garden? Probably. Anyway, who does Zer decide to test next? I think it was Egg. Huh. They might be more suitable than Carol and the rest. They're more of a realist than an optimist or idealist or, um... I told you, idiot. No going in the basement. This will be good. <laughs> there we go. Better. <laughs> did brush? I don't think so. Look what I did. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, that's nice. Uh, bandage bandage mouth. Uh, it's safe out there. And I got a bit of clarity on things. <laughs> Only good souls find themselves safe. Evil souls turn into voices like me. But don't worry, I've changed my ways. <laughs> She said that as long as you have a good soul, you're safe. Egg, Andrew, here, now. What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Where even were you? I... Whatever, doesn't matter now. <laughs> Just get on with the meeting thing, please. Oh, I'm right. So, Andrew found out that we won't die out there if we have a good soul. So, let's go. 
We've all got great souls. I'm not sure if you're the one one to determine that, Carol. Guys, we really need to get out of here. I I miss my mom. And I miss my fans! You you have fans? Uh-huh. Okay, let's think this through. Hmm. Okay, um. Hmm. Carol, Lantern, Betty. You can go go ask whoever Andrew saw if any of us has an e evil soul and how we can fix this. We, we will need to stay here and, and distract Brush. Okie dokie, bestie! Are you sure? Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, finally, that brat has gone off to the air. And I am forever free. Free to rule the world. No, the universe. No, the Zimbrandi person. <laughs> <gasps> eh? Oh no, who could that have been? Hello, Frau Brianna. Oh nine! Do best Frau Brianna neat! Oh, thou must just speak English. Oh, sorry. Mm, I'm looking for Miss Betty Brianna. Is she here? I'm part of the local investigators guild and I was told to come find her to see if she can help us promote our newest work. Hmm. Inventors guild, you say? Yeah. Are you interested? Of course. Well, and so, by the way, that I mean that princess has moved on to another home, that is. Cool. Is this yours now? <clears throat> Wanna work with us? I shall love to. But actually, would Sal like to work with me? A world famous inventor instead? Wow, you're famous. How come I never heard of you? Well, I. But sure. Let's go work. <laughs> Zell shall never. to this. What's going on? A little birdie told me that you've been breaking the rules, Andrew. <laughs> Can we open a window for pencil? And I won't tolerate that. <clears throat> That's why we're having you punish Egg this time. Exactly how I say. <laughs>
Remember, buddy, the outside is a dangerous place. The outside has changed since Mom left. She made it safer. I've watched. Please. Fine. Yay. <laughs> we, we should go back. But it's cool here. I want to stay. Please. You. Okay. You can't. Okay? It's for your own safety. Fine. I'll go back in. But can I at least just see the lights, please? They're street lights. But I still want to see those magical lights, please. Oh, your mom? Yes. Did invent things. But those inventions made her lose her mind. She went outside and left and never returned, and I don't want the same to happen to you, brother. I promise. I want my... <laughs> no, no, brother, leave. Go inside and board the doors and leave. No, 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 what about you? Leave me. Go. <laughs> Hey, hey there. What's wrong? Um... My... Pencil told me to stay away from you. Huh? Why? I... I don't know. Pencil? Why? <laughs> Created for peace. I would would never be rude or weird. <laughs> Created. Charming. Uh, I'm turning into my mom. I'm so close to bringing him back. There's no turning back now. <laughs> <laughs> 